Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, God. Lord, we love you and we magnify you this morning, O oh God. We bless your name and we honor you, O oh God. We exalt you, Lord, and we magnify your name because truly you're worthy, O oh God. Truly you're great and you're greatly to be praised, O oh God. All honor and glory are due your name, Father God. Father God, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, O oh God. Father, I thank you for being a good, good father to us, O oh God. I thank you for being faithful. I thank you for being just. I thank you for being true. I thank you for being mighty, O oh God. I thank you for being awesome, Lord God. Father, I thank you and I praise you for being my everything, O oh God. Father, we worship and magnify your name this morning. Because you're worthy of all the praise today, O God. We worship and magnify your name this morning, O God, because you're mighty and you're awesome, Lord God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for for moving by your spirit. We thank you and praise you for ministering to your people, O God. We thank you and praise you for meeting each of us right where we are, Lord God. Not because of who we are, Lord God, but because of who you are, O God. Not because we've been so righteous, Lord God, but because you've been so good, Lord God. We bless you for your mercy and grace, Lord God. We thank you for your continued provision, Lord God. We thank you for renewing our strength, Lord God. We thank you for restoring our joy, Lord God. We thank you for sustaining our peace, Lord God. We thank you for providing in every way, Father God, and in every measure, Lord, that you might be glorified. Father, we love you today, O oh God. We love you and we magnify you today, O oh God. We glorify you and we honor you today, O oh God. Father, truly there's none like you in all the earth, O oh God. There's none like you in all the earth, Father God. We bless your name and we honor you, Lord God, for all that you continue to to do in our lives, Lord God. We thank you for how you continue to make provision. We thank you for how you continue to bless and keep, Lord God. We thank you for how you continue to show up in our lives, oh God. Father, even when we don't deserve it, you continue to show up, oh God. You continue to show up and show out, Lord God. And we thank you and praise you for it, Lord God. Father, we thank you for the glorious time that we've had, uh, we had on your Lord's Day yesterday, oh God. We thank you for giving us clarity, Lord God, clarity in the vision, Lord God, clarity in the work that you have for us to do, O God. We thank you for meeting us, Lord God, yesterday, O God. We thank you for filling us, Lord, to overflowing, O God. And we thank you that as we meet you this morning today, O God, we meet you this morning with new resolve, Lord God. We meet you this morning with a new sense of urgency, Lord God, to be about your business, Father. We meet you this morning with a new resolve, Lord God, to live in such a way so that we take every gift that you've given us, Lord God, and we stir them up, Lord God, to do the work of ministry, O God. Father, teach us your way, Lord God. Father God, teach us your way and teach us how to walk in a way that's pleasing to you, Father God. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for the privilege of being called your children. And as your children, Lord God, we have to live a certain way and live at a certain standard, O God. Father, make that standard, Lord God. Make your standard our standard, Lord God. Make that standard the standard by which we live, Lord God, but by which we live, move, and have our being, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you've called us to do great things, oh God. In order to do those great things, Lord God, we need our faith activated, Lord God. Activate our faith like never before, God, in the name of Jesus. Activate our faith, Lord God, that we stand in believing you for everything, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Lord God, that without faith it's impossible to please you, oh God. We desire to please you, Father God, and we thank you for the measure of faith that you've given to each and every one of us, Lord God. Take that measure of faith that you've given us, Lord God, and use it for your glory, O oh God. Father, activate our faith today, O oh God. Activate our faith in everything, God, in the name of Jesus, that you'd be glorified, Lord. We thank you for your faith, O oh God. We thank you for giving us the measure of faith, Father God. We thank you for blessing us with the opportunity and the privilege, Lord God, to be to move by faith, Lord God, and to walk by faith and not by sight, God. Father, you have so much for us to do, O oh God. You have so much for us to do for your kingdom, O oh God. You have so much for us to do for your glory, O oh God. You have, Lord, God, campuses for us, Lord God, that we need to fill, Lord God. You have programs and ministry, Lord God, that need to be activated, oh God. There are souls that need to be saved, oh God. We lift up our cities in the name of Jesus. We lift up Atlanta, Lord God. We lift up Chicago, Lord God. We lift up Milwaukee, oh God. We're in the spiritual strategy room, oh God. We see what the enemy's doing, oh God. We see that the enemy's trying to leave these cities as abandoned, oh God. We see that man is turning his back, Lord God, on critical demographics in, the, in each of these regions, Lord God. And we 
thank you and praise you right now, Lord God, that you equip us, Lord God, and bless us with the resources. Equip us and bless us with the manpower. Equip us and bless us, Lord God, with the ministry. Equip us and bless us, most importantly, God, with the anointing to go in and make a difference, Lord God, to take these places that have been abandoned, Lord God, and to make these places, Lord God, centers of worship. Make these places households of prayer, Lord God. Make these places places where you live, Lord God, and you reign, Father God, that people's lives will be changed, oh God. Father, we thank you for, Lord God, ministering to us, oh God. We thank you for tabernacling with us, Lord God, in these cities. We bond up homicide in each city, oh God. We bond up suicide in each city, oh God. We bond up drug addiction in each city, oh God. We bond up senseless violence in each city, oh God. We bind up, Lord God, uh, 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 everything that's not like you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lose your favor. We lose your blessings, Lord God, in these cities. We lose opportunities to be a blessing to your people, Lord God, for your kingdom in these cities, oh God. We thank you and praise you for taking these cities, Lord God, and using them, Lord God, to be beacons of hope, Lord God, for the world, oh God, to be beacons of light, Lord God, in a dying and sin-sick world, oh God. Father, we thank you and praise you for moving by your spirit. We thank you and praise you for having your way and for doing it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we ask you to stir up Lord, every gift that you placed in us. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to use every gift that you've given us for your glory, oh God. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to live in such a way, Father God, that you might use us to make a difference in the lives of others, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for opening the, the hearts and minds, Lord God, of those who, whose minds are closed, Lord God, and whose hearts are hardened, Lord God. We thank you for having your way and for blessing. Oh God, we thank you for moving by your spirit and for ministering, oh God. We thank you for doing it all for your glory, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, have your way and do it, Father God. Have your way and move, Father God. Have your way and minister, Father God. Have your way and bless, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We know that there are those that are sick today, Lord God. We know that there are those that are shut in today, oh God. We ask you to minister to them and bless them, oh God. Father, you know every need, oh God. Meet every need, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. Meet every need in every household, oh God. Move by your spirit and meet every need in every family, oh God. You do the healing work, oh God. You do the healing work, Father God. You apply the healing virtue, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because your word says that healing indeed is the children's bread, oh God. Father God, you know every son and every daughter that needs, Lord God, their portion of your bread this morning, oh God. Give them their portion today, oh God, that you'd be glorified. Give them their portion today, oh God, that they might be healed. We bind up infirmity of every sort right now in the name of Jesus. We bind up every mind by spirit right now in the name of Jesus. We bind up every manner of infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. We lose full and complete healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Full and complete healing of the mind. Full and complete healing of the body. Full and complete healing of the spirit, oh God. Full and complete healing in families, oh God. Full and complete healing in relationships, oh God. Full and complete healing on the job, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for doing it for your glory. We thank you for blessing and for having your way, oh God. We thank you for moving by your spirit today. We ask you, Lord, Lord God, to equip us today to be used by you. Give us this day our daily bread, oh God. Give us this day our daily bread, our daily portion of patience, Lord God. Our daily portion of love, oh God. Our daily portion of peace, oh God. Our daily portion of grace, oh God. Give us this day, Lord God, everything that we need to make a difference in the lives of others. Give us this day, oh God, everything that we need to be a blessing to your people and to the kingdom, oh God. Give us this day, Lord God, everything we need, Lord God, to make a difference in the lives of others, oh God. Do it for your glory, Lord God. Let us, Lord God, be tenacious in our living. Let us be tenacious in our worship, O oh God. Let us be tenacious in our ministry, O oh God. Let us be tenacious, tenacious, Lord God, in our witness, Father God. Give us the resolve to continue to show up every day, O oh God. If nobody but us shows up, Lord God, give us the resolve to show up every day, O oh God. Give us the resolve to show up and live for you, O oh God. Give us the resolve to show up and let our light shine, Lord God, before men and women, boys and girls, Lord God, that they might come to know you. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to show up, Father God, with praise on our lips, O oh God, to show up, Lord God, with, with love in our hearts, Lord God. God, to show up, Lord God, with service on our minds, Lord God, to show up, Lord God, to be clear and accurate reflections of you, O oh God. Father, you called us to live this way, O oh God. Let us live in the way that you called us to live, O oh God. Give us the resolve to live in the way that you mandated us to live in your word, O oh God. Father, we walk by faith and not by sight, O oh God. We thank you for activating that faith, O oh God. We thank you for teaching us how to live by that faith, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for giving us the resolve to put our trust in you, Lord God, and to stand on that faith, Lord 
Lord God, when we don't see a way, oh God, when we don't understand and we don't know, Lord God, when we're not sure which way to go, Lord God, when it seems that we've run out of answers, Lord God, we come to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because you know everything, Father God. Your word lets us know, Lord God, to call upon you, oh God, and you'll hear us and you'll answer us, oh God, and you'll show us great marvelous words that we know none of, oh God. So we call upon you today, oh God, to give us the answers this day to this thing called life, oh God, to give us the answers this day to this thing, Lord God, called the, the, the journey that we're on today, to give us the answers today, Lord God, to be a blessing to your people, to give us the answers today, Lord God, to be a blessing and a clear and accurate representation of you for the kingdom, oh God. Father, we call upon you today, oh God, to watch over us and guide us. We call upon you today, oh God, to keep us and bless us, oh God. We call upon you today, oh God, to keep our minds and hearts clear, oh God. We call upon you today, oh God, to do the healing and delivering work, oh God. We call upon you today, oh God, to keep ministry at the forefront of our minds, oh God. We call upon you today, oh God, to give us a passion to continue to run for you, oh God. We call upon you today, oh God, to give us clarity in the vision that you have for us, Lord God, to, to fulfill, Lord God, that as we have clarity, Lord God, give us a boldness and the resolve to share the vision, Lord God, that you might be glorified. Father, we thank you and praise you for moving by your spirit today. We thank you and praise you for having your way this morning. We thank you and praise you for blessing and keeping and, and strengthening, oh God. We thank you and praise you for building us up, Lord God. We thank you and praise you that as we prepare even now to go into, Lord God, the world, into a dying and sinful world, that you give us everything that we need, oh God. You give us, Lord God, the strength that we need. You give us the protection that we need, Lord God. You give us the insight that we need, oh God. You give us the wisdom that we need, Lord God. You give us the grace that we need, Lord God. You give us the love and the hope that we need, Lord God. You give us the anointing that we need, Lord God, to go forth and make a difference, oh God. I thank you, Father God, for every member of this ministry, Lord God, that you'd equip us, Lord God, anew and like never before, Lord God, to go forth and do the work that you've given us to do, oh God. You know every need, Lord God. Meet every need, Lord God, of every member, Lord God. Meet every need, Lord God, in their lives, oh God. You do the healing and redemptive work, oh God. You do the restoring work that's needed, Lord God. You do the strengthening and the encouragement that's needed, Lord God. You do it all for your glory, Lord God. You bless and strengthen, Lord God. You do it, Lord God, and anoint and equip Father God, you do it that we be all that you called us to be today, Lord God. Teach us how to be the living witnesses that you called us to be, Father God. Use us to be those same living witnesses to make a difference in the lives of others, O oh God. We cast every care that we have upon you because you care for us, Lord God. And we praise you and thank you, Lord God, for giving us perfect peace and keeping us in perfect peace as we keep our minds stayed on you, O oh God. We thank you for hearts that are set like flint towards doing your will and your work, O oh God. And we thank you for opening doors for us that no man can shut. We praise you for victory today, O oh God. We worship you for this privilege of being able to seek your face this morning while you may be found. We exalt and magnify your name, Lord God, and we commit our works, Lord God, this day and this week unto you, Lord God, that your way might be established in our lives, O oh God. We thank you for hearing our prayers, O oh God. We thank you for answering our prayers, O oh God. We thank you for moving by your spirit, O oh God. We thank you for blessing, Lord God. We thank you for victory, O oh God. We thank you for breakthrough, O oh God. We thank you for deliverance. O oh God. We thank you for healing, O oh God. We thank you for the atmosphere being made conducive, Lord God, because of your presence, Father God, for all of these things and so much more to take place in the lives of your people. And as they do, O oh God, we'll be mindful to give your name the honor and glory and praise forever. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our verse for the week is found in Colossians, the second chapter and eighth verse. and reads as follows. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. My hope and my prayer this week is that the Lord continues to watch over and keep you as you continue to keep your mind, heart, and spirit stayed on him, that nothing will separate you from his love and nothing will separate you from his purpose in your life as you fulfill the destiny that he's given to you. God bless.
Church on the Move, dedicated to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ through the preached and taught word, community activism and outreach, and practical ministry designed to meet needs, bless hearts, save souls, and change lives. You can sow into the ministry via our cash app at dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. That's dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. Sow your seed into the good works and good ground of Living Witness Ministries today. And thank you for helping us reach the world with the life giving way. We pray that you were blessed by today's broadcast and would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, or would like to learn more about Living Witness Ministries, you can contact us by email at livingtowitness at gmail.com. That's the word living, the number two, witness at gmail.com or by phone at area code 404-955-8846. Again, that's area code 404-955-8846. Until next time, we encourage you to continue to live your life as a living witness.